Well, hello there, my friends. Yes, it's true. Another uh, Bridge and Stratton Craftsman, but Sears isn't in business in El in Canada anymore. There we go. Sears not Sears is not in business in Canada anymore, but. There's, a, there's millions of these things around. And uh, this one is the Quantum Engine with rear wheel drive. You can see right there. Oops, right there. And uh, it just didn't start for this gentleman. He's got two, so he's using the other one. So I'm not in a hurry. Uh, when he brought it, when he dropped it off, we pulled on it a couple of times and it wouldn't start. It has the automatic choke, which means there's no button right here. And uh, I got it running with a little shot of uh, petroleum products into the carburetor right into there. And it fired up and I could keep it running like a choke if I put my finger in here like that. And I pulled my finger away, it would quit. And then I'd start it up and it would run and then it would uh, I'd pull my finger away and it would quit. It's probably the million dollar bolt right underneath there, the carburetor bowl and the nut. I'm going to take that off and we're going to clean it and see if it starts. I guess I should just pull on the rope to show you what it's doing, eh? Sorry, I'm walking around with a camera. That's bad. Oh yeah, and then we have backlighting. So let's just solve that problem right away here. That's a little better, eh? Good. I'm just going to tug on it and show you what's going on. It's an automatic choke, so it should start. Okay. So now we'll do what we did before. Ooh, that'll make it go. <laughs> okay, let's start her up. Oh, we need the clamp. Now I'm going to see if I can get it running again. We're safe on the lift. Okay, you saw as soon as I took, took my finger out of there. So I'm going to Put a clamp on the gas line and that might hold it back and then we'll take this cover off because we don't have to deal with the uh, primer bulb seal because there is no primer bulb. I need a uh, half inch socket and on these I like to use my old teardrop sears ratchet. So I need a See if this will close this off. And I'm going to take this uh, filter plate off. Oh, interesting. Oh, <laughs> somebody's been in here. There must be three bolts on here. <laughs> I was on there pretty tight. There it is. All right, first thing I'm going to do is just wipe this bowl down. I 
can use a little steel wool on the ridge here. Now, when you're using this, I say this every time, when you're using steel wool, you don't have to use it, but it, this helps on these little rusty little lines like right in there. Where are they? There, there they are. Don't do it over your bench work or anything over the parts. Do it over the floor or outside and uh, because the steel wool will come off and get into the jets and the carb. I just rinse it with a little carb spray and dry it off with a little air. Now, I want to see, this is the jet. It actually, it holds the bowl on, but it actually works. There's a, a T in there. Let me just see if I've got a tool or a wire. Hey, a wire! Okay. One jet, one hole goes through this way. Right? And one hole goes down this way. And I'm going to try and blow it out first with carb spray onto a clean rag. Yay! Whoops. And right, I'm going to put a little air through it. So remember it was running kind of a little bit? Well now this hole going sideways through here was clogged. Almost clogged. So if I put that through there like that, hold on, hold your lips right. Oh boy. There. And down through here I should be able to see this interrupt the light. Ooh, that doesn't feel that good. I'm going to use one of these little twisted uh, acetylene Need a little thicker one yet. Hey, maybe that'll do. That'll do. Okay, let's just give that a little squirt and see if we have flow. I just want to, every time you do that, you should check it to, oh yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to get a, a bowl seal and we'll get the carburetor cleaned up on the lawnmower. Right. There. And it's looking pretty rough, isn't it? So I have one of those, and I'm just going to wipe the edges of that carburetor up and we'll come back. Thanks guys. Alright, I just put the bowl back on with the new seal. And uh, we'll just get you out of here. So this mower should start. Lower it a little bit for safety reasons. And we're gonna just pull her open and see if she goes. Now a lot of hap a lot of things happen right away. The engine starts to turn when you pull her open. There's a wind inside that helps to take the choke off a little bit. There's not much of a spring there, eh? Right there. See that? The choke opens. And then the bimetal strip starts to heat up and permanently pull that choke open. Two things, okay? So I'm just going to give her a little tug. Should go.
Good. The wheels turn. So I think I'm going to put it back. Well, I'm going to tilt it on its nose, or its back, and uh, see how the wheels look. Ugh. Oh my goodness. I just want to do something quick, and it takes all that time. Good. Gouda, gouda, gouda. So this is what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to get this uh, bag of bowl seals into whoops, the storage bag. There we go. Almost. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that was part number 693981. Now, I'm just going to tilt this back and see what the blade looks like and see how much crap i got to clean up from underneath. Oh, lots. He looks after his stuff, though. I just need to clean the crud out of here. What is this from? <laughs> Look what I found underneath the lawnmower. Where on earth is that from, guys? Might have been the last lawnmower I did. <laughs> now, I'm going to just clean this up and we're going to get this back on right now. Alright, let's just put this uh, air filter assembly on. This was on too tight when I first dismantled it. Eh? Making me very, very woolly. Threads are a little knackered, as Mick from Mick Smowers would say. I'm going to put the other one in up over here. Now, what's this one doing? It's talking a little bit, isn't it? I'm going to put just a squirt of oil on that. Going in a, a half a turn. I hope it's not stripping. I'm not using the machine on this one. Right on the edge. Top one's going in good. Scared me. Very scary. Good. So I don't think the blade needs to be done. No, I don't think so. This gentleman looks after his stuff. Thanks, guys. Be right away. Okay, there it is, all cleaned up. Oh! <laughs> well, almost done. I put this away for the very end. I'm having a good month. It's been Briggs and Stratton almost every day. Now you can complain about that or you can be happy about that, right? Okay, we're not going to bore you with too much, we're just going to let it start so you can see that it does run again. Hi my friends, we're all done this lawnmower, and uh, if you can subscribe and hit the bell, I'd appreciate it. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you very much. So we're going to just start this guy up. He's pretty new, it's a 2000 I think. So that's great, and here we go.
feathers are flying, but that's okay. Thanks for coming along with me on this one.